good afternoon gang hope everybody's having an awesome day if you're new here i am jay weatherford the sole proprietor and owner of this youtube channel you guys are in for a treat today today we're doing the first ever review video for the youtube channel and it's something i've been wanting to do for a while i love and it's going to be i don't know just random reviews on like things i think are cool i think a lot of stuff's cool and i think we have we'll keep it for the next videos i think we're gonna have a lot of bangers coming this way but first video of the review to mark it off is gonna be the no slaw extra toast lemonade ipa by parish brewing co i know what you're thinking oh john ipa is gross well to that i say grow up but before we get into the review let's learn a little bit more about the beer and its history and for that we'll go to the parish brewing co website this is the no slaw extra toast 16 ounce can no slaw extra toast one love one beer no slaw extra toast is here inspired by our friends at raising canes and their famous lemonade this ipa is stripping in our favorite hops and is dosed with the meyer lemonade puree it's a brand new innovative twist on our modern IPAs. No Saw Extra Toast is a refreshing lemonade IPA with nose of lemon heads candy, flavor that reminds you of country time and tropical hop profile from a 50-50 blend of Australian Galaxy and Yakima Citra, 7% alcohol. So now that we know a little bit of what the No Saw Extra Toast lemonade IPA is, let's get to the review. To start off the review, we're going to have two categories. We're going to have the taste and the appearance, right? We'll start off with the appearance. No slaw extra toast. So when it comes to the appearance, just off that, seeing this on the shelf, I'm, I don't know about y'all, I'm buying it. Just because the no slaw extra toast, you know, I feel like that's a common thing with like everybody. Like it's just like an insider. Everybody, anybody who's been to Raising Cane's knows like that's the order. That's the no slaw extra toast. That's the order right and i feel like just based off that people are going to be more likely to buy the beer next we have the taste right never been a big ipa guy i don't think anybody starts off as an ipa guy right but i don't know i this beer is a little bit different right it called itself a lemonade ipa right and it said it had a nose of lemon heads candy Hell no, it did not. <laughs> Nothing about that tasted like candy and lemon heads. That tasted like a IPA to the core, right? I definitely have friends that would like this more than I do, but for me personally, I can't give it more than a six, right? Just off the taste, and it's coming off saying it's a lemon lemonade IPA. Nothing about that tastes like lemonade. It tastes just like IPA. It's very similar to Ghost in the Machine, which is another IPA by Parish Brewing Co. So because of that, and to me, I think it's going to be a 6 out of 10 for the taste. So putting both the subcategories together, off of appearance and taste, overall, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. And I know what you're thinking, like, you don't even like the beer, how are you going to give it an 8 out of 10? But like, off of marketing, you cannot tell me. You cannot sit here and tell me. If you've been raising canes and see this, no salt extra toast, it's not going to at least pique your interest and not make you want to buy it, right? I feel like that's just ridiculous to say that. So, my review for the day is going to be an 8 out of 10. I'd like to appreciate it and thank you guys for tuning into my first ever review. Have a lot more on the way. Have a lot of cool ideas. Love you guys. Hope, hope everybody has an awesome rest of their week. And hopefully we post a little bit more review videos. Hope everybody has an awesome day. Peace.